What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel, Jason the X back with another review, and today I'm taking a look at the Marvel Legends 85th Anniversary Odin. Now, I, I know we've gotten, we got an Odin back in the past, or it may have been just a uh, removable head. I think I positioned it as own, but I put that figure away because it was okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was like interchangeable with Thor or something. Um, but I can't find it. So Marvel decided to make a new Thor, a new Odin. And I gotta tell you, this is the much better version because he is massive. This figure just, just is just huge and towering and I think it's perfect. But the main thing is all of the detail, the paint, they went all out on this one. There's so many like great little details in there. I, I had to get it. So let's go ahead and first we're gonna take a look at the accessories it comes with and then we'll take a closer look at the figure. But taking a look at the box as well, nice window box, a lot of window space here. You can see what's available to you, I'm digging it. Marvel celebrating 85 years and we thank them for it. Of course celebrating 85 years on the side, Marvel Legends series, more celebrations. And on the back, we get some very nice artwork. We got Odin with the spear. Odin, king of Asgard, uses immense wisdom and skills as a warrior to defend the realms as the Allfather. And of course, all the languages and on the side, some more of that artwork, very nicely done. All this detail just is, is included in the figure. Okay, so we get a pretty good amount of accessories and uh, honestly, this figure was at a higher price point, so it's nice to get some options. Uh, first off, we get uh, um, Hugin and Moonin. Is it Hugin and Moonin? I think that's the name of his ravens. I should have looked that up beforehand. You can see a little bit of blue on there, make it look really nice, but this one doesn't get it. So yeah, you got one of the crows, uh, wings closed. We've seen these before with the Thor figure, uh, which I brought out for a comparison as well, but kind of cool to get them. Funny, I was mixing those up with my Mezco uh, crow figures, um, like his stuff. So you get another helmet. This is the one that you saw, Mom, when you first uh, we first started the review, and I'm thinking about leaving this one on because I like the look of this one with the big horns and the gold. And you can see there's the hardware that attaches to the head in there. You've got a, a set of, uh, well, a wig essentially to put on top of them. Same kind of keying in there to line up on his head. And we'll show some of these looks off. And you get another helmet, very kind of Kirby-esque. I, I dig this one, I really do. It's it's really a hard choice because this one has, um, well, this one, you can't see the hair and I kind of dig having the hair, but it's a tough choice. They're both very nice. I like the gold that was used. Got some very nice detail on there. Got the crew up there. You can kind of see maybe some of the details, like something that you would see on uh, Gugnir. Is it Gug Gung Gungnir is uh, Spear's name. But yeah, you've got options of how you want to display them. You've got the Odin sword here. We've seen this before, but, uh, I'm pretty sure this is a better paint job. I like this gold. We've got two tones of the gold here. On the handle, we even get the jewel in the center painted out. Yeah, they, they went pretty uh, all out with the paint apps on these guys. I think this, this is the plastic of the sword, but I like the color that it's cast in, very nice. And speaking of spears, we've seen this before, but this is a Gungnir, Odin spear. Yeah, I figure how, I, I can't remember exactly how many other characters have uh, gotten this spear before, but I, th I think Angela got it or somebody. I forget. I mean, I, it may have been included with the other Odin figure, which is stored away. I just didn't want to get, grab it out. But nice, looks good. And of course, you get two pairs of hands, one kind of open grasping hand. You can hold stuff in it. Uh, you get two uh, weapon holding hands that are on vertical hinges. Very nice. And you get a closed fist on the left side. All right, so I'm gonna probably have my figure with both of the weapon holding hands on him. And as you can see, he's got a divot in his head up here. You can kind of see the keying for that. You got a hole and you got two like little indentations over here. And that gives you the option of what you wanna uh, put on the head. So this part kind of comes off and actually I'm gonna, okay, I'm just gonna put him with the hair and then we can kind of take a look at how he looks. So you've actually got soft goods on this guy too, but you got two pegs here. You have to take this fur rough off to um, get the hair on there because this goes over it. So there you go. It's kind of keyed to have it over. So we'll just leave him with the hair and we're gonna take a closer look at the figure, come up a little bit. So man, look at the detail on that head. We've got 
that rich blue of the eye. The beard looks good. You got some wash on the beard. The gold in the eye of his uh, eye that's been taken from him. Oops, I am, oops, oh, oh, there we go, okay. Kind of had to adjust my camera there, but you can see the detail on the face sculpt. You can see the, when he's standing, uh, the detail with the mouth, the beard looks really good. The hair is colored in well, and I like, even though it's a separate piece, how it meets up here. Just a really nice figure. Uh, it's just plain brown for the uh, fur piece, and it is kind of holding the soft goods cape, which is very nice. Falls very nice. It's of a nice kind of soft fabric, like something that you would clean your eyeglasses with. And I dig that. Got a little bit of stretch to it. And it's held on just at the shoulders with these two pegs. So just to keep it in place, you want to put that back on there. Soft goods aside, you can see the detail on the back of his armor. And there's like little kind of... Um, indentations and damage all over. But look at this, the leather here. Well, the faux leather, it's colored, the leather. Man, the skirt piece. And moving in, you got that swirly gold at the use. They got some paint on the bones in there. You can see this here. And what's weird, this is a, this part is actually spinning because of the pegs here. And you would think it's like around a piece, but no, that's just that's just how everything stays in place. It's really weird. Um, got the detail, very Norse mythology, kind of detail on his breastplate here. I love the copper and gold kind of used on here, which translates down here into the belt. Once again, more just a little nicks and a little detail. And the gold, go down more into the armor, see more of that detail here. The checkerboard of kind of his chain mail underneath. He's got uh, two horns on his knee guards. One's kind of busted off a little bit. And once more that white paint down there. Just really a nicely detailed figure. And I was on the fence about him because, you know, I was, it's Odin, do I really care that much? But um, yeah. It's, it is not disappointing just because they included a lot of stuff and this detail is crazy. And I'm just gonna go ahead one more time and we're gonna put on another helmet just so we can see some difference. We'll put the big boy on here. Now I haven't actually tried to get this on without taking this piece off. Oh, I didn't key that in. There we go. It's not down over his, his nose here. So there we go, got the armor back on there. I'm curious if I can actually get this on here without, because it, if you look, there's almost a space they leave for it. And the figure out of the box, nah, you can't do it. You gotta, you gotta put the hair underneath for it to look correct. So we just put that back on there. So we just got him with a different look. And I, I gotta say, this guy, looks very good, very stout, very big, and he just came with a lot of accessories. Let's do some comparisons and measurements. All right, we're pulling up the family for a portrait. You can see he towers over our previous versions of Thor and of course of Loki. I uh, got to forgive Loki's sword, it was all uh, bent up back there. And just giving him a quick height measurement from the top of the head. With this particular headpiece on, this, this Odin stands in about nine and one eighths inch tall. So he's a big boy with that helmet on. Uh, we'll go ahead and maybe take this one off. And I know we saw it earlier, but I'm gonna go ahead and pop this one on his head. There we go, keyed in very nicely. So just more of a normal measurement without like the really tall helmet. He comes in uh, just about eight and a half. Well, uh, eight and a quarter at the top of the helmet, not including the horns. And of course, it wouldn't be a review without comparing him to the G.I. Joe Classified Snake Eyes and the worthy Captain, Mar Captain America from Marvel Legends. Take a look at some of the poseability on Odin. So um, it's limited because he's just that big. You've got the feet on some 
ankle tilts, or go back or go forward, go back, kind of hindered by the armor here. You do have the peg going into the foot so you can go pretty far. You're a little bit limited because of the spikes. He does have double jointed knees and boy, excuse me, didn't mean to hit the camera, but the armor boot is probably just gonna get you a little past 90 degrees, barely really. You've got a cut at the thigh, very nice. The legs will go forward, about yay far. Da, da, da. Not very much, but he's a big boy. You got the butt plate will prevent it from going to the back. Uh, let's see how much he he van daminates about that far. Not, not too shabby for a bigger figure. He does have a ball joint at the lower part of the torso, which pretty expressive. You can get some good stuff out of it. Uh, nothing up top. This is all very solid. This sounds like my cat's food is being served. The pauldrons are on that joint where they put it, well, that kind of weird thing where they put it around the peg for the shoulder. So these will move independent. You've got shoulder joint goes out about that far. It will do a 360. You might knock a couple things out of whack, but it will do the 360. Single jointed elbows, and they are going to be limited due to the gloves. So you're only gonna get like one click out of there. And then it goes forward. You see, it's just, but the gloves are of a softer plastic, so you can kind of cheat it a little bit, but I would not leave it in that position for long. Of course, all the hands are pegged into the forearm, so 360 degrees, also indented, so you can feel that. And these hands are on the verticals, the other hands are on horizontal joints. The head, however, is very limited due to the beard, and when you have the hair on, it limits it even more. That's why I'm also going with this helmet. But you can go back about yay far. I haven't tried to pop his head off. It doesn't seem like it could pop off. I would have liked to have an additional head with maybe like a roaring face or something. Uh, that would have been kind of cool. Uh, you're not gonna get forward much because his beard is very stiff, very full of mead and probably other stuff and doesn't go very far. I believe it is just on a ball joint into the head and a hinge because that's all you're gonna get. Uh, you can go to the side fairly well when you don't have the limitations of the hair. So I'd recommend this helmet if you want to do any major posing. So yeah, go with that one. All right, guys, well, that's all I have for the Marvel Legends 85th anniversary Odin. It's a very nice figure, uh, very bulky, just feels, it feels very quality. And I got to say all the paint apps and everything, you're getting your money's worth with this one. I know it was at a higher price point. I got mine off of, uh, I believe, Amazon. I had pre-ordered it, but they had it sooner than uh, Hasbro Pulse did. So I went on and got it there. Uh, but I gotta say, fantastic figure. He is going to take up some space on the shelf because he just dwarfs everything else. Dwarfs, because <laughs> they dwarfs, uh, you know what I meant. Anyway, guys, I'm Jason the X. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel. We have made so many improvements on the live show with the uh, with new gear, wireless microphones. I would encourage you all to check it out. We've uh, put a lot of uh, time and effort and considerable um, amount of money into making things a little bit better. We hope that you enjoy it. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. Uh, I give this figure, I mean, seriously, looking at him, four out of five. It's a really good fig. It just could have, if they had added an extra head, this one would be a five easily. Until next time, guys, I am Jason the X, and I'll catch you later.